tonight, the Fulton County DA is now asking a judge to think twice about dropping murder charges against six current and former county jailers. This case centers around the 2018 death of inmate Antonio May. His family says he was having a mental health crisis when he got into a fight with jail staff. Today, Joe Kinky learned why the district attorney is arguing the murder case should move forward. Joe? Well, Jennifer Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis in a new court filing is asking a judge to reverse an order. She says he did not have all the facts when he tossed out the indictment. Under Georgia law, when prosecutors present a case to a grand jury seeking a criminal indictment against a peace officer accused of committing crimes on the job, the officer must be made aware of the hearing and can be present to give their side of the story. Last week, Judge Robert McBurney ruled Fulton County Jailers Aaron Cook, Guito De La Cruz, Omar Jackson, Jason Roach, Kenesha Strouder, and William Whitaker were peace officers at the time of inmate Antonio May's death. But the Fulton County DA's office did not inform them of the grand jury hearing that led to them being indicted. McBurney says that error is why he had to toss the indictment. But Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis in this new court filing disagrees. She wrote state records show none of the defendants were post-certified peace officers with arrest powers at the time of May's death. And under state law, according to Willis, jailers instead are considered law enforcement support personnel who are not peace officers. Willis is asking for McBurney to reverse his order and schedule a court hearing where she can present evidence to show the six were simply jailers and not peace officers. Officers. It's been four years. It is a very long time uh, to not receive justice for Antonio May. That is Michael Harper, an attorney for Antonio May's family. We talked with him last week when charges were dropped against the jailers. May was arrested in 2018 on a misdemeanor trespassing charge. His family says he was having a mental health crisis. And the family's attorneys say witnesses saw guards tase and beat May before his death. Harper last week said he remains confident there will still be justice for May. We believe that if this case has to be reindicted, um, that regardless of what happens, the officers will still be reindicted once a new grand jury hears the evidence. That was Joe Hickey reporting. By the way, this is the first step by the DA. If the judge does decide to reverse his order, Willis could appeal his order to a higher court. She could also represent or present this case to a brand new grand jury, but with McBurney's order and already in place, she would have to allow each of the accused to testify.